Oh, he's on fire. You watch him go. Hello guys! Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. As always, this is Jason, and we're out here at the Light Me Up As I Walk Around Me Tower. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing here yet. I just got done carrying tons of stuff out here. Um, cook a chest in here. And, uh, let's see here. I'm going to grab some glass. Um, well, I carried some stuff. I carried the glass I had the other day, and then it got wrapped up in, uh, <laughs> TNT and this stuff up here and I've actually cleared out some of the stalks too. Uh, I spent quite a bit of time after we got done over here the other day. In fact, before we spend too much time over here, let's go. Oh, this is cool. I haven't showed you guys this yet. Water particles. Whoa, can't. I was been playing Saints Row too much here. <laughs> I was going to try to show you a side view of it. But uh, I think that's kind of cool. I haven't seen uh I haven't seen anyone running on water before. Water particles in your face. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, man, that last episode. Um, so I'd recorded the, 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 the first part of that last episode on the fan server a little while back. And then, like, the next day after I recorded that, Etho uploads his spider GPS thing. And I'm just like, well, damn it, man. Now that <laughs> now my unique idea is not so unique. I mean, they were different because uh, he, he he did his thing with spiders and um, and my my thing's missing. Oh, here it is. Uh, and mine was with uh, passive mobs, but it's you know still the same idea. Pressure plates and I mean, granted, it wasn't like some amazing idea that either one of us came up with. It, well, his was his was definitely more in depth than mine. Um, but uh, I mean, the whole. The whole pressure plate on top of uh, glowstone wasn't wasn't that amazing. So, anyways, I spent so many hours over here the other night just chatting with uh, people on Skype and fixing this right here. Um, you should have seen the mess this place was after after we played Ladder Wars or Kinking of the Ladder or I don't know what you want to call it. We we did some TNT spleef up here, and afterwards we got I don't know how it happened, man. We just like I think I think it was beef that started it. He was at the top of this ladder, and uh, I think Nebras or Baz or someone was trying to knock him off, and it turned into three hours of us trying to knock each other off the top of this this pillar here. I'm gonna show you guys the the <laughs> the idea behind it. Um, Nebras is gonna upload a video, or Nebras has uploaded a video of it, and Ethos got the footage, and he said he was gonna upload it, but I don't know when. Um, it always takes him a little while to uh, to upload stuff after he records it. Uh, I didn't record it, and Badge said he was going to upload his today. I haven't checked to see if he did or not. Um, but anyways, I'll link to those in the description. It was it was loads of fun, uh, <laughs> and uh, and I kind of wish I had recorded it. Uh, but yeah, once you're up here, someone comes up, tries to knock you off, you fall, and you try to get back on the ladder, and that's basically the gist of it. Um, it started off with just one ladder, and then we ended up with ladders on all sides, and oh, it just kept progressing. It was it was ridiculous. Um, my house got just blown up, man, because we didn't we didn't allow this up before we got started. Uh, so stuff was spawn out here at night. Creepers just destroyed the ground. This this thing down here is not even uh, it's not even, whoops. I see it's not even there. Wherever this is at. Jeez, where's it at? Jeez. What in the world? Where's my thing? There we go. This isn't even... Well, maybe it is wired. Um, I don't know that it's wired right. <laughs> uh, where's my dirt? There it is. Right there where you expect it to be. I think some of my stuff is still inside of here. I didn't grab it out because I need the inventory room to carry stuff over here anyways. Um, the kitty cat. I haven't really talked to you guys. Uh, everyone suggested I name him Paws on Paws. Like P-A-W-S. Like Paws on Paws. There we go. And uh, that's a hilarious name, so th I'm gonna go with that. So your name is Pause. Yeah, little Pause. Yeah. All right, let me grab some of my stuff here. I got this. And grab that. Oh, there's my sword and my bow. All right, that'll do. Alrighty. Uh, 
Um, I did the interview with German Minecraft Pros, and I'll link to that in the description. The description's just gonna be full today. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'm a lot of you guys have already seen it. The guys that uh, that follow me on Twitter, so a lot of you guys have already seen that. Um, I played that vessel playthrough, and I uploaded that. I sat on that footage. I've gotten in this habit here recently where I'm second guessing, and I need to stop it. Uh, where I'm second guessing my the stuff before I upload it, I'll upload it, and then I'm sorry, I'll record it, and then I'll sit and I'll think about it, and I'll, I'll watch it through, and I'll just second guess whether or not it's even if it's even worth uploading all this. And that's not something I've ever done before, and it's just the last few last couple weeks, uh, just been just been second guessing stuff for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to have a busy week this week because, uh, you know, I'd recorded all that portal stuff pretty early on, and, uh, and you know, that's all done. Um, and I don't really have another game right now, but everyone is just spamming me about this vessel, man. Everybody wants to see more vessel, so I'm probably going to give in and play it. Oh, man, I need some torches in here. Do I have any torches? I do, okay. Good. I need to think about that. I might need to do is like put some glowstone right there. I think that's what I'll do. All right. So this, I haven't. Okay, here's one problem: mobs will definitely spawn on the pressure plates. Uh, so what I might want to do is like, for instance, this one right here. It'll never get powered. I might, I might replace that with with just some regular glowstone. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm gonna do. I really haven't decided the design I'm going to go with or anything. Like I was looking at this earlier, and I'm just I'm just not sure where this is all going. Because um, I want it to be the same all the way around, but I've already kind of okay. Here we got three across and one there, and then we got a full block. Is this a full block right here in the corner? Yeah, it is. So we full block goes over one. Full block goes in one. I see. Um, so really the difference here is this right here would see the thing is I want as much full slabs as I possibly can get um, like everyone kept telling me when I when I did that demonstration uh, I was like you can use whole blocks and I, and I knew that the thing is I wanted the whole fence thing because it appears as if you're going from one full size block up to another and, and I just like the visual change of that uh, oh yeah I'm not gonna stick with cobble by the way uh, I was thinking about um, lupus blocks like not like silk touch lupus blocks like the the ore itself uh, I think it looks really cool I mean again it's gonna be covered in pressure plates but it looks really cool with uh, like the half the half part of it here with the little blue dots and then with this being the water tower and everything um, I think they look they look pretty good together but anyways let's uh let's get moving here so I think I can do a corner like that and then full blocks. Dang it, stupid blocks down here. Um, so the Ultra Hardcore Season 3. Uh, that, we're going to push to upload it starting the 19th, I think. Um, so you guys should be able to catch that pretty soon here. Um, well, you know what I'm probably going to do? I'm just going to waste glass. And I'll come back through and I'll replace the glass with, uh, with the redstone, redstone blocks. However, I think they look good. So should I do another, another square here then? And uh, everyone's doing Q and A's now, uh, like Paws and Beef and just everybody. Um, and that's something I've considered doing. I mean, you guys did send in a lot of questions uh, for the interview, so I was thinking if you guys if you guys have questions you want answered, um, feel free to ask them. And if I think that they're worth answering, then I'll do it. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing a certain question and answer session but you know sometime whenever I got a, a lull here and I don't know what to to talk about um, that would be a good thing to do just have some some back some back questions I can answer this is gonna look cool from an outside perspective the thing is uh, inside of here you're not gonna, gonna get much out of it I need to figure out what I'm gonna do what I might do 
is pour lava down. Well, it's a water tower. You can't have lava. <laughs> Just, no. What you're about to say is stupid. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. Um, Drunk Jason bought Psychonauts the other night. He's a pretty cool guy. Drunk Jason. And uh, I was looking at that today, and I was thinking, well, what am I going to do with this? So I might uh, might play that, too. I might try a bunch of different games. thing is, people, I'm getting really mixed reviews about Batman, man. People are just, some people really want to see it, and some people act like if I play it, they might just kill themselves. Um, thing is, I've already played it for quite a while. <laughs> I have like six hours of footage, and it's just sitting there. Um, so it's almost a crime not to upload. That's why I finally uploaded the vessel, man. I, I sat on that for a week, and I was just like... Oh, I don't know if I like this or not. I was just, I was being a little bitch about it, really. Um, oh, God damn it. And, uh, I don't know why I've been letting my my head get in the way here recently and just overthinking, overthinking things. This is definitely not something I've, I've, I used to do. Just, uh, I don't know. What's wrong with me, man? Can't help it. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing inside of here. Maybe uh, get you guys some, some input from you guys about what you think would go on down through there. Because, I mean, I'm going to need light in here, otherwise mobs are going to definitely be spawning. I don't know how how, how high we're going here. I'm going to see how far my uh, my blocks take me. And uh, we'll just go from there, I guess. Am I doing this kind of conducive, at least? I guess I am. Fuck that, eh? Oops. But yeah, with the Batman, I'm worried because it's like, man, I recorded all that stuff so long ago that if I don't start uploading it soon, who knows? I might be talking about Hillary Clinton running for president. <laughs> I mean, it hadn't been that long, but uh, I mean, you, you get what I'm saying. It's if, if I don't upload it, it's gonna. There's no telling what what kind of commentary I have in there and what I'm talking about. So I really need to. Uh, put some of that stuff up and I think what I what I was thinking about earlier today what I ought to do is uh, I ought to upload a rotation of things uh, different games because what I was doing before is I would do portal first thing in the morning then um, whatever whatever shows like like for instance um, Saints Row that's that's every other day and, and Ooge is every other day well, once there's another Ood series, which is it's coming, by the way. Um, but uh, anyway, so I would upload like Portal first thing in the morning. Then, the next up would be whatever the main thing is for the day, Ood or whatever, and then something else. I normally do three videos a day, uh, be it like Borderlands or um, Ultra Hardcore, just whatever. Um, so that's what uh, that's what I've been doing, but right now for my upcoming week here, I have nothing because <laughs> Uge is done. Uh, we haven't started recording the next season. Um, we were gonna do it last Thursday, but some stuff came up and uh, John wasn't able to get on. So um, we're we're hopefully starting that up this week. And uh, I just now got done playing Saints Row for the last four hours actually, and I knew that I, I haven't got any Minecraft up in a little while, and I, and I miss you guys. So. Um, but I would uh, go ahead and work on this this tower so it doesn't get too stale. Um, John and I were talking about the arena some after we got done playing Saints Row, and we both agreed that it's about time we get started on that. So he's going to try to get on here some this week. He missed out totally on this whole thing. Um, but yeah, he's going to get here this week sometime, and hopefully we can get started on the arena. So that'll be cool. Um, Doc M was talking about um, wanting to play more Minecraft too, and. <laughs> <laughs> he says you guys ask him all the time, um, but uh, with his world tour, a lot of times he doesn't have time because he spends so much time on the the new world tour every week that uh, he runs out of time to do to do other Minecrafts or uh, Minecraft. <laughs> it's officially Minecraft now. There's no, no, just no more mine. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, something I didn't realize the other day when I was doing that interview. He said that uh, the, the next Minecon is already guaranteed to be in Europe. I did not know that. It makes me sad. I'm going to definitely miss going to Minecon um, this year. 
because I was really hoping to uh, to get to do that again because it was tons of fun um, last year and uh, I was really hoping to get to, to, to meet some more people but I doubt that I will be able to go if it's in Europe just cost wise it would probably be you know maybe maybe IGN will send me <laughs> that'd be awesome um, I doubt that's in uh, in their list of things to do <laughs> I'll ask him. <laughs> Are you sending me to Minecon? <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's put this glass in and go take a peek at this thing from a distance. Oh dang it! Let's go take a peek at this thing from a distance. <laughs> I might end up leaving the cobble. It doesn't look that bad. I don't really play with cobble that much, so I think it's kind of in the way, isn't it? I like the way the spiral looks. It needs to... Hmm. What can we do with that spiral? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what it's going to look like whenever I get the, uh, the redstone lamps in there, too. You know what I might do is pour water right down the center. I think that's what I'll end up doing. Um... In fact, I might make it where the whole thing's like a water ladder all the way up, so you don't have to take the, the bridge if you don't want, or the uh, walkway. Oh, wait, let me get my glass one down here. I had some good stories that I was going to tell you guys, and I just can't think of any of them. Um, I didn't really get to finish what I was talking about the other day, is involving neighbors and dogs and stuff like that, and uh, I kind of hate I cut that short, because... Um, just happened so quick with the pause all of a sudden and Etho just being here that uh, I just didn't get to finish my thought even um, but uh, when I was talking about getting a, a weapon it was uh, solely for protection I, mean, I wasn't talking about buying a weapon and going hunting these dogs that's definitely not that's not something that's on my mind um, and a lot of you guys are posting that you just poison them and to me that's animal cruelty um, that's not something I would ever do. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want my animals poisoned. And people have said, you know, it's not the dog's fault, and I agree with that. Um, it's definitely, it's definitely the owner's, the owner's fault, the owner's problem. Um, the thing is, we've taken every known measure um, that we can think of to to do anything. Uh, animal control. Uh, I talked to them again, and they said they were going to come out and put traps on my land, and they they haven't. I called them again and uh, left a message two days ago. Haven't heard back. Called him again today. Didn't answer. Left a message. No response. So um, I uh, I did write a letter to my county commissioner um, about the whole thing and about I mean not not necessarily about the dogs but more about the lack of the lack of response from animal control regarding any of this type of stuff. And um, I haven't heard back from him. But I guess we'll see see where that goes. I don't have I don't have a lot of faith in any of these these, these different methods. But um, another reason why I think I probably should own a firearm is, well, I'm American. And that's just, like, something that everyone in America has to do. Uh, but no, not really. Um, but uh, the guy that broke in my house, he lives, like, walking distance. It would take about a minute to walk from his house to my house. Um, and he was let out. They they didn't do anything to that guy. Um, before he was arrested for breaking in my house, he was on probation for breaking into 11 houses. Um, and apparently that doesn't mean a damn thing because um, all he got out of this was some community service. Uh, and he was on house arrest where he couldn't leave the house at night. Uh, the DA told me this and I was like, great. Good thing he broke in everyone's house during the freaking day. And she's like, well, he'll have to pay restitution. And I was like, well, how's he going to do that? Is he going to break into someone else's house to pay restitution? <sighs> so, um, again, the thing is, the guy is such a drug addict that um, I don't trust that he won't be so doped up that he doesn't know what he's doing and he could come and just kill us. Um, I mean, he's been in our house. He's seen... Like, the, the door he came into is the same door that connects right to the computer room here. And there's there's four computers just sitting right here in this room. Um, two of which have dual monitors on it. This one right here that I'm playing the game on has got damn 
big ass LCD or not LCD uh, plasma TV that's my monitor um, so he's seen a lot of stuff um, he definitely went in a living room which has got a 60 inch TV in it um, which I mean it's a shitty old uh, I, bought, I bought this TV 2007 or something um, at the time it was like top of the line Man, I feel like such an idiot uh, it's a Sony um, Sony projection LCD I think I think that's what it is um, it was like I think it was like four grand or five grand something like that I mean the same TV now would be 800 bucks tops I mean a much better TV would be would be a lot cheaper um, so yeah definitely definitely bought, bought bought a TV at the wrong time that's for certain um, but anyways he's seen all these things what's to stop the guy I mean the guy um, he had 22 counts of breaking and entering that he pled guilty to in, in, including my house and he got community service um, house arrest like basically nothing um, there's a little convenience store down the road from here and he was just up there bragging about how the police didn't do anything to him so yeah the guy hasn't learned any lesson and there's nothing to stop him from just getting doped up because uh, he definitely told the uh, the detective that the day he broke in our house he was he was he was doped up on pills and he barely remembers any of it uh, he remembers hearing someone snoring in the room and then coming in and uh, seeing me and then running out which I've always questioned I mean if he heard someone snoring in the room why would he enter the room like what I think I've talked about this before though so I'll just shut up about it um, but anyways I feel that uh, it'd be smart to have uh, just to have a way to protect us um, in the event that something, you know, something like that happened, or, you know, if, uh, you know, if, if the dogs are, 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 are at a point where they, they are endangering the family, then I will take the necessary means to protect my family, and that's just all there is to it. Um, the same thing against someone, I would not hesitate, if there was someone in my house, then I would shoot them. That's just all there is to it. I would not hesitate. Um, I don't think I don't think you should own a gun unless you're willing to, to to fire it. If you're, I mean, really, if if you're not, then you're putting yourself in danger by even having it here. Um, so, but I mean, it's it's also something that's really only in a situation where there there is no other recourse. Um, so I would not take any pleasure in shooting someone else or animals or anything like that. Um, it's just, uh, if you've exhausted all resources and you don't know what else to do, I mean, what, what else is there to do, really? <laughs> that's kind of the summary of the whole thing. Um, and that's just, that's how I feel we're at. I mean, this is almost a year total that, uh, it's, you know, the break-in, and, uh, it's been over a year, actually, dealing with, uh, with this guy and his dogs, and it just continues to escalate to a point where I don't know what anyone's going to do to make it right, um, and if it continues to get worse and worse, and he continues to care less and less about what's going on, um, then someone's going to have to 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 take to take the law in their own hands, I guess. Oh man, I feel like I'm so loud now. That this rain's gone. Jeez, rain is so loud. But that's that. Man, these clouds. I don't like them. See how tall we're at now. I guess I could have just jumped right in there, could not I? I wonder if that water will protect me. Cause I'm kind of, kind of high up here. Oh, that yeah, does okay. Maybe I'll just leave that like that for a safe fall out of there. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking real nice. I think I will like have water inside of it now that I say that though. But yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty, man. I like that. All right. I don't know how high we want to get it. Um, and I'm gonna want something on the top that kind of stands out, that watery. I don't know what the. We'll, we'll figure that out there. Probably need to put some torches down in here for some mobs get to spawning. Whoops. Well, there, I put some torches down in here. All right. some temporary torches for now. I'm definitely going to have to put something that gives me some light there. Somewhere. 
other than just the redstone lamps because I only do so much there's so many stories that uh, I haven't told and I I don't remember them half the time whenever I'm recording I need to uh, do a better job of writing that stuff down and the thing is I, I don't always remember what I have and haven't told you guys Plus, uh, I spend so much time on Skype with other guys on the Minecraft server, and <laughs> we're always talking, and they're they're reminding me of something that sparks a story, and I tell them, and then it confuses my brain as far as has that story been told, or did I just tell it to the people on the the server, or what? So I don't know. I was telling Badge and them the other night about how uh, when I lived in Texas. Well, I used to live on this uh, the lake called Lake Tawakini, and uh, this was whenever I was, it was around 11, I think was my age, because um, it was before my dad had died, um, so I hadn't quite turned 12 yet, so I was t 10 or 11 in this time period, um, and it was before I'd started working at Southern Junction, which is the, the bar I've told you guys about there in Rockwall, Texas, uh, which is still there, you can look it up. Um, I thought I saw something move. I'm tripping. But there was uh, there was these these twins. <laughs> Sound hot, don't they? They weren't. Um, they were younger than me though. I think I think they were seven or eight. Um, but my, my mom, you know, she worked at Southern Junction uh, nights. So yeah, well, that's the only time they're open. So <laughs> of course it was at nights. Um. But that that basically meant I was home alone um, most of the week. They were closed on Monday, I think it is. I think it's Monday. Um, but other than that, or maybe, or maybe it's Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday through Sunday, or Wednesday through Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right. I think they're open Wednesday through Saturday. So, anyways, I was home alone, you know, most of the time. I'd come home from uh, school, and there wouldn't be anyone there. Um, so I pretty much did what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> which probably isn't the best environment for a child to grow up in, but whatever. Uh, so, like, these twins, their their grandpa on, owned, owned, he owned, <laughs> he owned, um, you can't put pressure plates on them, no, you can't. Um, he owned a little convenience store that was uh, in this little community we lived in. And, is that right? Yeah. I used to go over to the convenience store and play pool pretty regularly. Um, I mean, like, he had a little grill in there, and, like, if my mom didn't have anything cooked f for me when I got home. Like, that's a... Man, my mom, she would make roast beef so much. I mean, because it's something you can just, you know, put in a pot and leave it and go to work, and it's there when I get home. Um, so I got so tired of roast beef. It's something I just... I don't ever cook. I just can't, can't stand it. Of course, my wife likes it, and it's like, well... Good for you. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Uh, that and salmon patties, man. Oh my god, dude. She used to make salmon patties all the time. I don't know why that, because that's definitely not... I guess we were just poor. Because <laughs> it was salmon patties and fried potatoes. Uh, but, uh... Which we... I mean, we didn't have a lot of money. Um, but, uh, anyways. So, uh... The story I'm trying to tell here is how I uh, <laughs> really fucked one of these girls up one time. Um, of course, these girls they weren't they weren't that nice. Um, we had this little uh, Pomeranian. His name was Spunky, and um, I remember one day I was sitting in the living room. I was playing Gilligan's Island on NES, and I hear him out there calling him. Like I I had let him out to use his, to use the bathroom. And I hear him out there calling him. So I get up, and I get to the door, open the door. I see Spunky crossing the street in a truck, just take him out. Just killed him. Um, of course, they denied it. And I was like, I just fucking saw you, you stupid little bitches. Um, so, yeah, they definitely killed our dog or were responsible for his death. Um, and, and my mom always had these damn Pomeranians, and everyone since Spunky has just been the most annoying yapping little dog you've ever seen in your life. I hate little yapping dogs. 
but uh, he was he was a cool little dog. He was not an annoying yapping little dog. Um, every one of them since then has been an annoying ass dog. She still got she got a damn little Chihuahua now that'll drive you crazy. Uh, anyways, moving on. Um, one day uh, they were at my house, and I don't remember what was going on. I know she was trying to climb over the fence in the backyard or something. This isn't really that great of a story. It's just kind of funny to me. Um, <laughs> but uh, she was trying to climb over the fence or something. I think it was Amber and Ashley was their names. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> for some reason I thought of the Olsen twins when I said that. Uh, their names aren't Amber and Ashley, are they? What is their names? What the hell are the Olsen twins' names? You'd think I'd know that being a man. <laughs> oh, man. Full House was a great show. <laughs> um, anyways... I wanted her attention. I yelled towards her. She didn't listen, so I picked up a rock and threw it. And she turned right as... I wasn't trying to hit her. But man, I hit her dead square in the eye. Or not in the eye, in between the eyes. And oh my god, dude. I thought she was going to die. Like, she started gushing blood. It was just... It was horrific. And I got banned from the store because of that. So, that's that story. <laughs> it was great, wasn't it? So there hasn't been much on TV for me to watch recently, and uh, I don't watch a lot of TV, but uh, like whenever I'm like feeding my daughter and there's nothing better to do, I'll watch TV. <laughs> and so, it has, like I said, there hasn't been much on on the DVR f recorded, so uh, I st I've added a couple things, and one of those things is uh, Price is Right. And man, Wayne Brady, oh wait, Price is Right, yeah, that's one of them, that's uh, Drew Carey. Uh, but uh, let's make a deal. It's Wayne Brady, and that show can be hilarious. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it was never that good. Whenever Monty Hall did it, I've just offended some 70 year olds. <laughs> don't be talking about Monty Hall. Oh God, I don't know how high I'm going with this thing. I feel like I'm getting there though, whatever that height is, because I'm I'm up here, man. I'm above the clouds now. I gotta need to. I mean, I, need, I probably need to start thinking about where this is all gonna end, actually. I like how this looks. All this glass there. Let's uh, let's get down from here and take a. I should have jumped. I don't know why I didn't. And this is gonna look cool whenever I got the the redstone lamps in there lighting it up. Now that I've, I'd probably need to fix this down here because this isn't the same pattern that we've been going with the rest of the way. Um, and that's that's why I kind of stopped when I was messing with it the other day because I didn't establish a pattern that I wanted to use. Let's get over here and take a peek. Um, the other night, Etho was on. That looks really good. I like that a lot. It's a lot of glass, but I really like it. Let's go over here and look at it. Um, Etho was on, and uh, he was having some, some issues with his mob trap. And I'll show you guys that at the end of this video, and you guys can just take a peek. Um, or it might be in the next video, depending on how long this one is. I think we're already, we're already pretty far in this one here. Oh, don't go down there. Um... But man, he says he says he's gonna upload, so I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna show you guys everything. Maybe just give you a little teaser. Um but man it was it was some crazy stuff. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It was some definitely some glitching going out with some mobs and uh he took it to the next level and things just things just went down. That's just all there is to it. That's gonna be probably one of the better of the towers actually looking at it. I really like that spiral staircase there. Let's get up here and take a peek. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's real good. Oh, and I use those circle bricks down at the bottom. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, there's a there's a way to make them with. Um, it uses like the block uh, the block damage ID. From a stream of water, use a piston to push to push a regular stone brick, and it'll it'll update it. It'll turn into the circle blocks. So I made enough to, to put the base on that thing with. Just everyone's using them right now because you can't actually get them in the game and use the stupid uh, cheaty way. And <laughs> oh oh, well I'm down here now. Well then, all right. Uh, but uh, this week, since I don't have a bunch of stuff recorded already, I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of videos on the channel. I'm gonna try to get. Uh, try to get back in the swing of it and get get uh, some stuff recorded 
for you guys. I they're uh, they're still gonna be Saints or every other day. We definitely have a backlog of that set for you guys. Um, we're gonna be recording o Ooj, and we will also have um, the the new season of Ultra Hardcore coming up pretty soon after the the finishing off of the current Ultra Hardcore. Um, so. I am probably going to play Vessel because you guys keep telling me you want to see more Vessel. And so I'm probably going to give in and give you guys what you want. Uh, I'm not against it. I just didn't think it seemed... Again, I've been second-guessing stuff here recently. Just uh, letting letting my head get in the way of things, I guess you could say. Um, I like that tower. I really do. I'm really happy. We definitely need to... And it needs to be more watery, though. We need more water. I wonder... I wonder if I could get like a spiral of water somehow. Oh, they're blocking my face. You guys are wanting to know about Fred, aren't you? I know you. I can hear it. I can hear your thoughts. Make sure I don't punch him in the face. Hey, guy. What's going on? There. Now, now we don't have to break in there no more. <laughs> we can just look at him. <laughs> What's going on, Fred? <laughs> oh, man. Man, I, you know what? I had a list of things I was going to talk about now. I just remembered it. <laughs> How about that? Well, that'll be next episode. Oh, man. I forgot all about that. Uh, I, got, I got a couple stories to tell you guys. Man, it's weird. I always remember after I'm done recording some stuff I was going to tell you guys. And then I'm like, well, dang it. I'll tell them the next time. And then I forget. Uh, that looks good. Looks good. Um, today was just a building episode. You got to hear about me uh, pegging some twin. <laughs> Pegging some twin. Oh, I'm glad my wife doesn't watch these. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today, though, guys. I'd like to hear, I'd like to hear what you guys think about this tower, though. Um, just give me a comment and what you think. What do you think we could do with this to make it better? I, I mean, it's gonna look so much different once I get the redstone lamps in there. I guess that it's hard to say now, isn't it? I might do a couple of those while I'm not recording and see how it looks. I hope I have enough of them, honestly. And then also what we should do at the top to kind of finish it off. I don't really want just a generic ball of water, but that really might be the best solution. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll see. The, uh, the only other thing, I guess, before I finish this off is to be sure to check out that interview if you if you care about that sort of thing. I'll link it in the description. And... Um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Um, I know I keep talking about how I got these games I got to give away, but I'm definitely going to start. It's going to be crazy. You guys are just going to get games in your face. Um, you're probably going to play them, but you know, they'll be in your face. You can look at them. <laughs> Not seriously. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to definitely start giving it because I got just such a lot. I could give out a game a day for an entire month, and I think I still have some games left over in my, uh, in my, my Steam library. Um, so I'm definitely gonna start doing that. I, I I'm I'm gonna probably start looking for some people to assist me with some things. Um, and those people I'll be willing to pay, cash, not games. <laughs> uh, but I'll talk about that some other time. Uh, because uh, probably talked you guys head off too much for one night. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching as always though, and um, I'll see you all next time. Always on fire. You watching? Yes. <laughs> you know your diamond shit just got Explode out of them from all sides.